most of today is going to be spent in those four square feet. A couple weeks ago, I talked about writing my proposal. And, well, I'm still writing my proposal. I mean, that's not to say I haven't made any progress. I've, I've made some progress. I sent my proposal to my advisor, Dr. Sarah Durant, and she made a lot of really great comments on how I could improve my proposal. So right now I'm in the process of going through, making a bunch of revisions, and hopefully in here in the next couple days I'll have a complete revised proposal that I can send out to my entire research committee. So I've been in this dungeon of an office for about an hour and a half, made a little bit of progress on my proposal. Um, but you might be wondering why are there all these desks here and I'm the only one ever working? It's because all my office mates are slackers. And they're not slackers, they're doing a bunch of research out in the field. Unlike me who spends all my day either at my desk or in the lab, they're outside collecting data. Dude, what's up? So I've been going stir crazy in the office, so I called Millen and I was like, dude, let's go get some lunch and just chill for a little bit. So we're gonna do that, but before we get lunch, we have to stop by one of his field sites. Oh yeah, that's Millen. Yo. Hey Millen, what's, what's that terrible noise? Those are my front two tires that have no treads right now. <laughs> yeah, so your car sounds terrible, <laughs> but my car doesn't sound terrible, but it's literally held together with duct tape. Yeah, so, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Right. I think I got everything. A couple months ago, Bill and I went to a conference and when we both got that shirt, and I literally almost wore that shirt today. It would have been pretty sweet if I were. It would have been the dorkiest thing imaginable. Dude. But sweet, yes. Dorky, but sweet. That's how we roll. I've been out of the car for like three minutes, and I'm like just dripping sweat. It's so unbelievably hot. Yeah. Last week was pretty terrible. What happened? So these nestlings are baby birds pretty much ready to fledge. When I open the box, there's a big western rat snake in it. Just eating the nestlings alive. Not a pretty sight. Yeah. Basically, that snake swallowed your data. Yes. How pissed were you at that snake? Uh, first, I was just scared out of my mind. Alright, sweet. So we got five baby bluebirds in there, about five days old. So are they alive? Yep, they're alive. We're going to paint their toenails. This is so we can track the growth of each individual nestling. I'm about to get a baby bird. Check it out. I've never done this before. That's crazy. It's a baby bluebird. Please tell me you got that. Another part of field biology, we covered it. Oh yeah. Just gave them a pedicure. I always heard that if you touch a nestling, like the parents will reject it. Right. But right. our hands were like all over those little things. Right. So it turns out birds don't have the greatest sense of smell. <laughs> um, and like if you touch a baby bird, parents will reject it because you got your smell on it. It's kind of like an urban myth. Time for some. Turn around. If you are enjoying these videos, go to YouTube, go to my channel, Shaky Cam Science, and click subscribe. You won't get any annoying emails or anything like that. It just lets me know that you're enjoying these videos and you want me to produce more of them. All right, do you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye.